Hey guys, my name is Shubhan Garodia, Chemistry Master Teacher at Vidantu. Today we are going to talk about KVPY 2018 SX, that's 12th standard, part 1 chemistry subject, question number 47. Among the following species, the HXH bond angle follows the order and we are being given 4 species. So let's quickly draw the structures and let's try and understand. So first structure is PH3. We know that in phosphine, hybridization is not valid, is not applicable based on Drago's rule, right? And uh, therefore, the bond angle here is very close to 90 degree. Pure P orbitals are involved in bond formation. In ammonia molecule, there are three lone pair, one bond pair. So hybridization is sp3. Shape is uh, pyramidal in nature. And due to lone pair, lone pair repulsion, lone pair, bond pair, greater than bond pair, bond pair repulsions, we see that the bond angle is roughly equal to 107 degrees. Now, the next one is the ammonium. So instead of the lone pair, we now have a bond here. And therefore, nitrogen gets a positive charge to show that it's octet complete. Four sigma bonds, so hybridization sp3. All orbitals occupied by bonds. The shape is tetrahedral. And the bond angle is there for 109.5 degrees roughly. Next, BH3. In BH3, boron is the central atom. We have three hydrogens. Boron has no lone pair. So therefore, three sigma bonds only. Hybridization sp2. Shape is trigonal planar. Now, in trigonal planar, the bond angle comes out to be 120 degrees. So let's list these bond angles down together so that we can compare the order. So this is the data guys. And therefore we can say that BF3 has the largest bond angle followed by ammonium, then ammonia and then phosphine. Let's see which option matches. So BF3 highest, we wanted BF3 as the highest. So cancel, cancel. BF3 was followed by ammonium. Ammonia was followed by ammonia. Phosphine was the lowest close to 90. Therefore, A. Simple question, all you had to do is all you had to do was be careful about pH 3 that it is 90 degree close to 90. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us, guys, and stay tuned for our next question.